Chisao is a Wing Chun drill that's usually misunderstood, and I understand why. The reason is that people, they think that this a, a, a standing like that, moving around with your hands, and that will bring you in a safe situation in a real fight. Now, in most cases, if you do that, you're gonna be beaten up because uh, people are moving around and he's not hitting into that mid zone. So it's not about that. To understand Chisao, actually, you have to understand that if you have an opponent with a longer reach than you, you can't enter by, by striking. Also with the kicks, if he kicks me, he can reach me where I cannot reach him. So the moment they were to go in, instead of when he strikes and I strike, instead of sharing strikers, and or instead of just moving away, because he can always keep the distance with his hands, I decide whenever he, he does it, well, I touch his hands. Now, the Jisao is a sensitivity drill when your hands are touching. Now, this is not a Wing Chun drill. It's actually any kind of drill that you do in many martial arts, including when you're doing clinch, for example, in Thai boxing, or you're doing uh, in other styles, different kinds of clinch work. It's a sensitivity exercise when there's touch. That's the whole idea. If the arms is in the way or there's a threat, if we just stand here and hit each other, we're gonna get hit. See, so we're gonna get hit, so we have to somehow control. But then instead of going into a clean scenario where I try to control like that, now the hand that hold can't really hurt, then I have to let go to hurt. So the idea is whenever we get close, I bring my hands in a position where I can hit him. If he gives me an elbow, not possible. If he gives me a strike a different way, not possible. The other hand, not possible. He says, I'm just gonna give you a knee, you give me a knee, not possible. If he starts kicking me, not possible. Not possible when he's on pressure. And I'm not standing here. The idea of the Chisau is just when I touch the hands to move him into a position where I can strike him. But what did I actually do? I just moved me behind my arms creating a position from where I can strike. If he grabs onto me, my arms is in the way. My arms is in the way. Bah. So your arms are constantly in the way. Now that sensitivity drill is, uh, is, is really important and because Wing Chun focuses on that close distance fighting, we need to have a control there. Else, you're bringing, else people will, will rather go for somehow some kind of a takedown. Um, or they will try to make a distance to stay out here. Now staying out here makes me super vulnerable because he can reach me and, and it's a kind of chance fighting because anybody can hit anybody and it requires a lot of timing. The moment I touch his arms, actually right now I don't need timing because I don't have to wait for him, I can hit him already. Both my hands in the position to hit him. If he hits around me, circle, wow, I'm still, he hits me around in the other direction, wow, I'm still covering, he's coming under with a, oh, oh. so it doesn't really, but any kind of striking, doesn't matter, oh, oh, oh. so you're always, if he does like a mix, like a bop, 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 oh, I'm in there. I'm on that distance where I have control over him. He gives me a knee, a kick, oh, but it doesn't matter. So it's just whatever he wanted to do. So the idea is the idea that the moment I touch, there's a pressure into him. I'm, I'm just moving. My center is just moving towards him, and my hands is like shields in front of me, creating a place from where I can hit, hit, hit. So I can constantly hit on my way. And if my hands are here, if I wanted to circle in any of the arms, wow. See, if I want to go under it, wow. If I want to move his hands down, wow, wow, wow. He, it's not like I, it's that easy. If I want to go for a takedown, wah, right? If I want to go in and give him an elbow, wah. if I'm going to give him a low kick, wah. so, and it says, that was not a real low kick. <laughs> Hit me in the body or something when I do the low kick. <laughs> so it's not that easy. If he does any kind of uh, uh, leg work, wah. if any pressure is into his body the, 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 or into his head, he will not be able to, to kick. So in general, Chisao is what you do when the hands is either in the way or a threat. Okay, when you can't move away <laughs> and you can't just strike. Then you put yourself in a position of advantage. It doesn't matter if I'm on the outside, on the top, if I'm on the inside, if I have one hand on the inside, one hand on the outside. And then you train that sensibility that creates hold, 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 hold. So even, and if he starts striking, the moment he strikes, he actually creates openings. The moment there's a strike from him, there's an opening. Because one guy's out. I got two attackers, he's got only one at the moment that the arm is out. And if he's not throwing punches, I'll be throwing punches. If he is throwing punches, I'm still throwing punches. So there is no stop, it's a constant movement of attacks. That's Tiso.